Hey guys, Brett Weiss here. Thanks for tuning in. Question of the day is, do you guys think that Billy Mitchell should be um, a guest at retro gaming conventions? Now, ever since the cheating scandal um, occurred um, a while back, you'll notice that at a lot of the big gaming shows, um, Walter Day has been a guest without Billy Mitchell. Uh, prior to that, they um, would appear in tandem at a lot of shows. Well, coming up, um, Retropalooza, October 19th and 20th, Billy Mitchell is a featured guest at the show. Definitely the most prominent guest by far at the show. And it's always interesting when Retropalooza mixes up their guest list. They have a lot of the same uh, guests out each time, which is cool. Really nice guys uh, like 8-Bit Eric, Woodhawker, people like that. And of course, the Game Chasers themselves are, are guests because they run the show. Um, but it's always interesting when they mix it up. A while back, they had Brittany Brombacker out, which was great, super nice. Um, Metal Jesus Rock or Metal Jesus was there. Really cool guy. I interviewed him for an article about Retro Palooza. That was great. And so this time they're having Billy Mitchell out, which is obviously a very controversial choice in wake of the uh, cheating scandal. And uh, so I'm looking at the looking at the Retro Palooza Facebook feed. And I'm going to read you a little, guys a little bit their explanation of why they're having him out or, or their justification or whatever. And then I'm going to read some responses, you know, positive and negative about having him out. Before that, real quick, I want to tell you a little bit about my history with Billy Mitchell. I met him in 2003 at the Classic Gaming Expo in Las Vegas. <clears throat> that was my favorite show for years and years. Um, really cool gaming convention that began in 1998 as World of Atari. And then it went through some transition and became Classic uh, Gaming Expo shortly after that. Really excellent show for years. I met Billy Mitchell there in 2003. And I talked to him, and I, it was pretty cool. Even even then, before Chasing Ghosts and all that, um, he was still very you know well-known within the retro gaming community as a world record holder and all that kind of thing, and for the Life Magazine shoot. And... He's obviously very well known for Donkey Kong and Pac-Man. Well, he was I saw him playing Donkey Kong there and I talked to him a little bit. He kept starting over. He wanted to get, you know, the best game possible starting out. And um I spoke to him and he he was nice to me, but he definitely had a rock star air. Seemed a little cocky and stuff, but you know, he had that swagger. And um he was he we talked for a while and he was telling me he was pulling some kind of stunt. He was calling a guy he knew to tell him that um classic gaming expo had a particular arcade machine that this guy loved which it didn't have so he was sort of just pulling the prank on the guy and the guy was going to drive a couple hours in so whatever so he was doing a billy mitchell thing i guess uh, and then i've met him a few more you know seen him a few more times at shows and we've spoken and um 2014 at a big trading card event in iowa we were both guests there with our trading cards and everything and this was you know well before the cheating scandal so that's the thumbnail pick is me of me and him at, the, at this event Anyway, you know, he's treated me nicely and everything, you know, like I said, but he did have always have an air of, uh, you know, the rock star persona. You could call that cockiness or whatever. Regardless, uh, let me tell you a little bit about what Retropalooza said about having Billy out. It says, while everyone is quick to judge, does anyone commenting even have any actual personal personal dealings with Mr. Mitchell? We can say this. He knows what he is talking. He, he knows what he is walking into. He is willing to sit behind a table all weekend and talk to anyone wh who wants to approach him. He is willing to do a panel and answer the obvious questions. He is willing to play on a Donkey Kong machine, that he, or a machine, it says. They said they're trying to get a Donkey Kong machine there that he has no prior knowledge of or who has touched in any way. And from our personal dealings with a man, he is one of the most professional individuals we have dealt with in our seven years of existence. We challenge you to come out, talk to him, make your own judgment. We are in no way defending anything he has been accused of. We are saying, make a judgment based off your personal de dealings with him and things you see with your own eyes. Now, um, so that's what Retropalooza said. And um, should they have Billy Mitchell out as a guest? I think it's an interesting choice. And it's definitely creating a lot of buzz about the show. A lot negative, some positive. Um, I'll sort of look at it this way. If you were sort of a medium to large size uh, baseball card show, and you wanted to have out a guest that, you know, would create some, you know, uh, a lot of buzz or just get your show noticed, uh, you might have, and, and, and he was willing to come, would you turn down having Pete Rose out at the show? You might, you might not, um, but it would definitely be a, you know, a big get because he would definitely bring some people out. And I think Billy will, will bring quite a few people out too. 
I'm not going to be there that weekend because I'm going to be at the Portland Retro Gaming Expo. But um, I'd be kind of curious to be there with Billy, you know, with Billy doing a panel and everything, just to see what the questions were and see what he says. So let's get a little bit to some of the comments on the Retro Palooza thread. Um, let's see. Uh, that makes no sense. So Derek Gruber says uh, that statement makes no sense at all. So we are supposed to meet him and judge him at face value. The guy is a known cheat. I don't care if he is nice and professional. Uh, let's see. Russell Bergman says, I live next door to Arlington, and I'll be skipping this one. There are other arcade console pop culture conventions in the DFW area that I'll spend money on. Um, and uh, let's see. Taffeta Darling says, OMG, this is going to be ridiculous. And by that, I mean interesting as F. Now, I think that would be really interesting, too, to, to be there. Uh, Kat Despera, never one, uh, you know, afraid to share her opinions. She says, uh, she, the, um, guest announcement says that he's, you know, and created, uh, Ricky's hot sauce and she disputes that. That's that hot sauce at the, at Ricky's famous restaurants that, you know, Billy, that's one of his big business ventures is the hot sauce. And she disputes that. She also disputes that he was the co-creator of King and Kong and give King, the King of Kong Donkey Kong competitions each year. Uh, she gives sole credit for that to, uh, Richie Knuckles. Um, let's see. One guy, Thomas Czar says, dude, that's awesome. I would love to meet Billy Mitchell. Um, Jonathan Kelly says, great work. This is the most intriguing guest so far. Objectively, I believe that stands true. I hate to think of the hours I may well burn up in line for a photo. I doubt it will be hours for a photo, but there, there probably will be a pretty good line, but he's going to be there all weekend. So if you go, you'll be able to meet him and talk to him and stuff. I would imagine so. William McAvoy says, I absolutely love how Billy triggles, triggers all the babies out there. I just might have to make a special trip to the show just to see all the meltdowns in person. Mark James says, I have a great Billy Mitchell story. That's, I'm sure that's true. I have a couple myself. Um, let's see. Jason King says, damn, a known cheater being welcome, welcomed into a really great event. I really hate to see this. Like it or not, this is going to call into question the credibility of Retropalooza with a lot of people. But let's face it, people love controversy, and this, this is going to boost the hell out of ticket sales. It probably will bring quite a few people out. I don't know that it ruins Retropalooza's credibility. I don't think so. I think the Game Chasers, with their videos and with their knowledge of retro gaming and with their shows in the past, you know, they have seven years in running of Retropalooza shows in Dallas-Fort Worth, Houston. And um, so I think people will, Retropalooza will still be good after this. Uh, let's see... Will there be an actual arcade Donkey Kong there too? Uh, Joe Ash Trujillo says, and Retropalooza says they're working on that. Um, let's see. So then you've just got some memes and things. Um, and then William, William McAvoy comes back with Retropalooza. Nobody is going to boycott the, sh boycott the show. They're all part of an outrage mob. Nobody is actually outraged. They're just LARPing. If people don't want to see one particular person, they will just avoid that area. People either go or they don't. All this faux outrage is ridiculous and mostly coming from people who would not be tending, attending anyway. Okay, so anyway, so you get you get the idea. There's a lot of mixed opinions. I think it's an interesting choice. If I wasn't going to uh, Portland Retro Gaming Expo, I would, you know, uh, Retro Plaza Arlington, which is between Dallas and Fort Worth. Uh, that's about 25 minutes from my house. I would go just to see the, you know, just to hear... I would be curious in, in this type of environment to hear what Billy Mitchell has to say, because to me, I don't think he's ever given a really satisfying answer to the art, the cheating scandal with uh, his Donkey Kong score or with the uh, more recent scandal that people have uncovered about, you know, his Pac-Man perfect game. Anyway, I want to hear from you guys. Do you think that Billy Mitchell should be a guest at retro, retro gaming uh, conventions or any video game conventions? If it were and it was close to you, would you go? What would you ask him? In the comments below, let me know what you think about uh, Billy Mitchell going to, uh, you know, appearing as a guest at retro gaming conventions and let me know your thoughts on that. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you sub for subscribing and we'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.